Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe leave a comment that simply says thanks. Really helps with the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that will take you directly to the product page. We can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product I want to share with you is a great NAS device. So I decided to upgrade my NAS situation at the home. Uh, this is perfect for a small home office. If you have a lot of media files, let's say you have uh, various movies and music that you have digitalized, you want to preserve family photos, all that kind of stuff. You want to be able to access them from multiple computers or even access them remotely if you wish. Uh, this is a great little device. It basically creates a little home server, if you will, uh, which is why it's perfect for small businesses or for home users. What I went ahead and got was the QNAP um, 4 bay drive. As you can see, this is the TS-464 model, um, and this is the box that it comes in. Now, once you open it up, you're going to get the device itself, which is right here. We're going to go over that here in a minute. Naturally, you are going to get little uh, user manuals. We're going to cover a lot of the features right here in the video. You will get a uh, standard power cable right here. This is where you're going to plug it in to uh, power it up. Uh, it does include an uh, Ethernet cable. If you need one of these, you can plug this up. Now, this device does have two Ethernet slots. Uh, if you use both of those, you'll be able to transport uh, that data a lot quicker over the Internet. So keep that in mind. But it only includes the one cable. Uh, and then also this is the other side, the adapter brick that uh, is for charging it up. So this device does support 3.5 or 2.5 uh, SATA HDD drives, uh, or it also does the SSD drives. Now, when you get it, you are going to get the different screws. Um, I combined them all in this little bag here. Depending on your drive type, the black ones are going to be for the smaller. The silver ones are going to be for the larger ones. Um, but how you insert the drives, there is going to be a little lock button here on the side of the plastic. Just remove that and slide it off and you will see the four uh, bays that is simply will slide out. So simply pull down on the bottom and then you can just pull on the handle and the drive will pull out as easy. You're going to go ahead and screw in the support so that way they're nice and stable. And then the side clips, real easy, they just pop off. So very easy to install the drives and also hot swap them if you have any issues um, when utilizing them. When they are blank, they look simply like so. Um, now, one of the nice things actually I like about this particular setup is how attractive it is. Most of the drives out there just don't look um, that great, personally, in my opinion. They're not very, very attractive. They look very industrial, like they belong in an IT room. Well, this one looks kind of nice. So whether it's sitting up on the shelf or anything like that, uh, it looks attractive. And that was a big selling point to it for me. Particular. Now, let's go over some of the specs that it has. So, it does have an Intel Celeron quad core processor. So, that means it can process what it's handling a lot quicker, which is a nice feature. It was a big upgrade for me personally. Like I did mention, it does have um, two 2.5 uh, Ethernet ports on the back. So, that way, if you hook them both up to your router, it's going to allow you to bring in that data and send it out a lot faster because it's going to split the traffic for you. Now, it does have an M.2 PCIe slot. So you've got two of those if you need to boost that performance. Um, it does come with 8 gigabits of DDR4 RAM. However, it can also be upgraded to the 16 gigabit. So if you need more RAM, you can do that by adding on uh, more in the hardware of the device, which is a great little feature. Now, as far as user interface, because that's also another thing, you know, I like it to be easy to log in. This has a very friendly user interface. Uh, if you're doing any third-party apps, uh, it's easy to install, whether it's like remote backups or whether you are doing, like I have used it a lot for Plex. Uh, you can easily install those apps and maintain all that through their app interface, uh, add users and all that kind of stuff, which is very, very important, at least for me, as far as setup. One of the features I like about this device also. Now, to give you an idea of the device's size, it's approximately 10 inches by 12 inches by 13 inches. Now, on the front, you will notice it has the power button at the top. 
Uh, you're gonna have your various lights that we're gonna activate, let you know all the drives are working perfectly. Uh, then at the bottom, you are gonna see, it's going to have a USB 3.2 port, that's your red port. Uh, and then right below that, it's got a quick copy button. So if you do need to do a kind of remote backup, or, or not a remote backup, but a, like a quick snapshot backup, you can plug that into the port on the front, hit that copy button and it will activate that nice little feature. Now in the back, you are gonna have that extra bay support. So if you do wanna add an extra PCIe, you can do that. Um, below that, you're gonna have the secondary uh, USB 3.2 uh, port. And then below that, you're gonna have uh, just two standard USB ports. Below that, you're gonna have an HDMI. So this does have support 4K HDMI out. So if you do wanna plug this directly into your TV, you can do that with the HDMI app or a computer or monitor or whatever. Um, so that is a nice little feature. Then below that, you're gonna have your two ethernet ports. And then finally, that is gonna be where at the bottom is where you will plug in the device. And it has a nice big fan to keep the device nice and cool when you are not utilizing it. Um, as far as the actual NAS drives in here, um, that is going to be up to whatever one you want. Personally, I went with the Seagate Iron Wolf Pro and I put in here 12 terabytes worth of memory, but it can support a lot higher uh, terabytes if you wish to do that, or also you can go lower depending on what you want. It does arrive, at least the model I got here, is diskless, so it does not have any of the uh, hard drive disks in here. You get to, uh, those are bought separately so you can customize with whatever you want. But overall, it is a great little device. I absolutely love the performance. It works very, very well um, for at least all my needs, uh, both here in the household and remote. But also I love the aesthetics. Like I cannot stress enough how nice this particular device looks compared to a lot of other ones I looked at. Uh, it does have this nice clean look. It looks like you can put it on display uh, without just being another bulky, ugly piece of equipment. So overall, if you are in the market for a new NAS drive or you're thinking about getting into purchasing a NAS drive for your home or your office, I think this one is totally worth checking out. If there is something that I didn't quite cover that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. That is it till the next video. You guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.